Welcome to the Teacher's Lounge, a podcast dedicated to providing real-life resources for early education professionals. The Teacher's Lounge is hosted by Noel Dentino and Jessica Day. Together, they bring almost 50 years of combined experience in and out of the early education classroom, offering a wealth of knowledge and practical insights that you need now if you're in childcare. Whether you're a new assistant or making the leap from lead teacher to director, we have you covered. Join us as we delve into the unique challenges and opportunities of each role, sharing our experiences and expertise with practical tools to help you succeed. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite drink, and let's jump into the lounge. Welcome to the Teacher Lounge Podcast. In this episode of Welcome to Early Childhood, we'll be discussing the five traits of a good work ethic. A good work ethic is essential for success in any field, especially early childhood education. Having a strong work ethic means having a set of values that guide your actions and decisions both in and out of the classroom. It's not just about showing up to work on time and doing the bare minimum. It's about being proactive, honest, motivated to do the best job you can. Here are five traits of a good work ethic that every early childhood educator should strive for. The struggle with developing a good work ethic is something that many people struggle with in their day-to-day lives. It can be a daunting task to learn the importance of hard work and diligence, but it's a challenge worth committing to. Is there a time that you can remember when your work ethic helped to advance you in an employment position? How can you apply those skills to this job experience? Fortunately, there are five traits of a good work ethic that can help people develop this necessary skill set. The first is showing up on time and staying focused on the job at hand. Being punctual and giving your best effort while at work is essential for progress and building trust in any organization. It also sets an example for others as it shows that you take your job seriously and are dependable even when it might be difficult to do so. The second trait is having a positive attitude towards your job and your coworkers. It's important to remember that everyone has bad days but it's equally important to stay upbeat despite the occasional struggles or difficulties faced by you and those around you. Having a positive outlook helps create an environment for support and camaraderie amongst colleagues, which can lead to better productivity as well as stronger relationships with each other. The third trait is communication. No matter what kind of job you have, talking to your colleagues, supervisors, or customers is key to success in any profession. This does not just mean making sure everyone understands tasks or instructions, but also looking for ways to help those around you whenever possible. Strong communication skills show respect for others and can increase overall performance within the workplace when used effectively. Fourthly, having self-discipline is an important factor in developing a strong work ethic. Self-discipline means understanding how much effort needs to be put into any task or project and following through on those commitments until they are completed successfully, even if it requires extra hours or working outside of one's comfort zone sometimes. Self-discipline isn't always easy but allows us to push ourselves further in our jobs than we normally would have without it. Finally, taking initiative is the last trait that makes up a strong work ethic. This means being willing to take risks associated with projects or tasks without being asked to do so, even if they may not be successful at first. Taking the initiative shows employers that you care about getting results done correctly without needing someone else's constant supervision. It also gives individuals more confidence in their abilities because they know they can do things independently instead of relying solely on someone else's guidance all the time. Miss Maddie was a beloved preschool teacher who brought fun, reliability, and kindness to the classroom. Her contagious enthusiasm made sure that every child felt special. 
their successes celebrated, and mistakes treated as learning opportunities. Everyone looked forward eagerly to her arrival every day. She'd never fail them with tardiness or unfulfilled commitments. She inspired an environment without gossip, but full of success-oriented engagement from all involved, a truly inspiring figure in everyone's lives. Developing these five traits is integral for anyone who desires success in their professional careers long-term. However, there may be challenges along the way, such as staying motivated or finding the right support system within the workplace environment itself. The good news is that there are numerous resources available online today for individuals who want advice on how to best approach cultivating these important traits over time. From inspirational videos on YouTube about good work ethics, all the way through comprehensive courses, which offer step-by-step -step instructions. By utilizing these platforms alongside personal determination and dedication, all individuals should be able to conquer their struggles regarding five traits of good work ethic over time, creating a more successful future wherever they go. If you're ready to take the plunge and make a committed effort towards an exciting career in ECE, now is your chance. Embark on this journey with intentionality and be prepared for joy-filled moments of connection, purposeful relationship, and unparalleled job satisfaction. And that brings us to the end of this episode of The Teacher's Lounge. We're so grateful for your time and hope you found our discussion helpful and inspiring. Remember, you are doing an amazing job in the field of early education, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Until next time, take care, and we'll be back soon with more resources, insights, and inspirations to help you succeed. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and follow us on all our social medias to stay up to date on the latest happenings inside the lounge. Keep up the great work. We're cheering you on.